What's happening, everybody? BC Gamer here, playing some video games and talking to you guys. Uh, I've been watching some YouTubers, some YouTube videos, and looking at some news outlets, and a lot of people have a lot to say about Sony right now. Sony has lost different departments, different compartments, uh, and, and different areas of the company that previously made them a lot of money. Uh, Sony, I grew up in the 80s, so Sony is really for the majority of my life been a, a top tier company uh, making some really good products Walkmans, TVs, stereos, uh, went on to mp3 players video games of the PlayStation, phones now, uh, high-end televisions they've kinda of went out and done a lot out in the world as far as development goes they're kind of a, a, a jack of all trades but an ace of none in that sense that they they want to do everything that can potentially bring them in revenue but they fail at some of them, and at this point, it's like a lot of them. A lot of different uh, facets of the company have been hemorrhaging money, and uh, Sony has been in a bit of trouble. Sony has been in debt. Sony has been rumored to be in bankruptcy or going close to bankruptcy. I don't know if any of that's true, and quite frankly, I don't believe it at this point because of how well the PlayStation is doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the PlayStation is doing good, but if Sony was going under, I don't think the PlayStation could actually save it. So if Sony stays afloat, it's because of their own ingenuity. I don't think it's because of the PlayStation, to be totally honest. Uh, Sony has a lot of money. They're losing a lot of money, but they're doing a lot better. And so this, this video is going to be basically a question to you guys. Uh, and the question is going to be, how likely is it in your mind that Sony actually goes under? I mean, if you asked me 20 years ago if Sega was going to go under, I would have said, hell no. Hell no. After watching the Sega Genesis come out and Sega CD, 32X, Sega Saturn, Game Gear... Dreamcast, to me, they, they were a company that would never disappear. But unlike Sega, Sony has so many other things going on. And they decided to restructure. They stopped uh, making the Sony Vio computers. They stopped making every type of smartphone. They stopped working on their TV brands. And uh, they've kind of restructured the way the company is working to focus more on the PlayStation brand because the PlayStation brand is actually making them money. Uh, and the, the company's first quarter of the year, the first fiscal quarter of the year, their net profit was 26.8 billion yen. That's about 22 billion dollars. Uh, and that's just from the PlayStation brand. That's a 757 percent increase over last year. 757 percent. So the PlayStation brand is actually doing extremely well. And uh, they would actually be smart to slow down production on some of the things that are, are losing them money. You know, there are a lot of companies out there that make better TVs than Sony or comparable TVs to a nice Sony television at half the price. There's uh, too many damn phones out there to be competing in that space, if you ask me. And so I think they're smart to do the one thing that they can do that everybody's not doing and that they're doing better than everybody else. And that's create awesome video game uh, consoles, continue to develop awesome video games that is kind of a part of the Sony staple, the Sony name. That's what I think. But I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Do you think that Sony will go under? Is it possible that the company will dissolve? Uh, do you think that the PlayStation has enough steam behind it that, that can push uh, the, the, the company, Sony, further into the, the next, uh, I guess, aeon of time? Uh, you guys let me know what you think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and show that support. If you're new to the Beastly Gamer channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.